So guys, you know I haven't had my coffee fix today, right? So I went over to the store. I found out what we can do uh, for a creamer and sweetener is use a heavy whipping cream. So we can use a heavy whipping cream in our coffee. Uh, you can also use a butter um, in your coffee. Well, I'm going to be using a heavy whipping cream. I haven't gotten the butter that I like. I like Kerrygold. Kerrygold butter is a little bit more expensive. So I have to wait until I shop. But this heavy whipping cream was a good price. And it tastes better than my half and half. So we're going to be using heavy whipping cream in the coffee. They have some that's heavy, heavy, and that's sweeter than this one. This one isn't as heavy. What the heavy whipping cream is, is the fat off the milk before it's homogenized. And it's what bakers use to bake. It's from the cow. Yes, it is. It's the fat off the milk before it's homogenized. I'm in a low state right now. I'm very weak. So I got to have at least some caffeine. But I've been doing so well. So I'm going to try not to put maple syrup in my coffee drink that I've been waiting all day for. My body is having like caffeine withdrawals because I haven't had caffeine in like two days. But I'm not going to give up my coffee. I'm going to have one or two in the morning. And now I know I can put the heavy whipping cream and I'm also going to try melting me like a half teaspoon of butter one day, but it's not going to be today. Um, I'm not going to do the sugar, but I am going to give my son like a teaspoon of maple syrup in his. You can use maple syrup or real honey, or you can use, um, what they call, if you need a sweetener, get a real sugar, a raw sugar, a real honey, a maple syrup, get, or get a coconut sugar. Because I'm going to also use a coconut cream in my coffee. Now, coconut is naturally sweet. So some days when I really want to have a sweetener, I'll get a can of the coconut cream or a can coconut milk. Because when the coconut sits in the can, it gets a little bit of sweet sweetness to it. So, but this is just a coffee with heavy whipping cream. It's no sugar. And I can do this because of the fat taste of the cream. I can do this. This is better than half and half. And I'm not going to be drinking no low fat cow's milk anymore. Only thing I'm going to do is I am going to keep my milk in a form of plant based. My milk and some of my condiments, like I may have pickle, sauerkraut, uh, kimchi little stuff like that on the side of the meat but i'm not gonna drink the cow's milk anymore i'm just gonna drink probably milkadamia or coconut milk or uh, oat milk or something like that but other than that that's the only thing plant-based on my half if i need milk i'll have you know for cereal well i'm not gonna eat well, I'm not, i can't have cereal we're not having any grains i threw all the cereal out so there's no cereal here and there's no noodles and and things like that around either so it's going to be all about meat nothing vegan only thing I will have will be like a condiment sometime a pickle or a sauerkraut I may buy kombucha because I'm going to need it for my tummy I was eating a full fat yogurt you know but I'm not going to get the full fat yogurt anymore because it may have sugars in it I'm just going to get me some kombucha some kimchi or some sauerkraut you know for the probiotic and all meat and I'm gonna get me some coconut cream or some coconut uh, milk in the can and I'm gonna keep me some heavy whipping cream for my coffee because this is no sugar in here and it tastes good it's, it's a fatty taste in the coffee and I really don't miss the sugar so I may give my son just I don't even want to give him no sugar because he's been doing so well but I'm gonna give him a little sugar because he might need a little bit more energy but I'm okay with burning this low, but being in this low ketosis state like this, I'm okay with it. I'm feeling good. It's like my head cleared up. I woke up out of bed. I was like, wow, I can see better. And I felt like my head wasn't foggy, you know, so I feel like something is kind of lifting off me. So this is a good thing. 
eating this, being able to eat this way. Only thing I bought was whipping cream and some, some eggs. The eggs went up to six. I said, eggs going up like that? Eggs going up almost like the price of meat. So I didn't get the grass-fed egg, but I did get the, uh, what? He, he ate some grains. I got the green chicken egg, so I did get some free-range eggs. I wanted the grass ones, but I couldn't get them because I haven't went to the store yet. But I just got these. I'm going to eat me some um, eggs today for lunch. And I got a couple pieces of fish. I'm going to have uh, a couple of eggs, some fish. And that's it for my lunch. All meat. Dinner, I'm going to have some chicken. I got some chicken breasts in there. And I have to go to the store. I'm going to be going to Costco soon. Stocking up on the beefs, different beefs. Get it in bulk either Costco or I'm going to find me a local butcher that can explain to me the different cuts of meat and hopefully won't overcharge. So thanks for watching and I'm telling you what you can do. You can have heavy whipping cream or you can have coconut cream or coconut um, milk because it has its own sweetness, the coconut milk in a can. Or you can just put you some oat milk or some coconut milk or uh, what's that other milk? Oat milk, coconut milk, milkadamia, you know, if you want to eat a plant-based milk in your coffee, it's up to you. But this is the cow's stuff. This is the stuff when they make the milk before they pasteurize. This comes off the top. This is not homogenized. And it's very fatty cream. And it's delicious in this coffee. It's called heavy whipping cream. Thanks. Bye.